Hello friends, welcome to Jobme Tech Solutions. Today we are going to learn how to get MySQL data and set into JTable model using Java and NetBeans. So first of all, start NetBeans and create a new project. I don't need main class, so I unchecked create main class. Here we need to create the package because we unchecked create main class so it did not create a package. Now we need to create JFrame form in our package. Let's start designing layout. I am making a simple layout which contains header, body and footer. In footer, I am making a very simple panel which contains J labels, J text views and J button for submitting person information. In header, I am just displaying J label as title. And in body content panel, I just put J table. Now let's design J table model first. Okay, now everything is ready, so we need some actions in programming. Here I am setting main frame bounds and dimensions in source code so if we run program frame should stay at the center of a screen. Now let's run the program to see if our code is working perfectly. As you can see our program runs without any bug. Now create new java class as mysql connection. We need to add mysql jdbc driver library in our project. In my SQL connection, I am making a connection using host and username for my SQL JDBC server. Before going ahead, we should make database and table in which we insert data or fetch data from. My database is rough and my table is persons which has 4 fields.
Here we should rename all elements which can be helpful to call later in programming. Now create another Java class for operations. Let's start making insert data method first. I made construction variables which are asking for person data and JFrame to provide context in J option pane. I called connection from my SQL connection class and I prepared a query which is inserting data into my SQL database. This is second method which is for listing data. In this method I made construction for J table where we are going to list data and J frame which will work as context in J option pane. I prepared query for data selection. Here we got default table model and set its row to 0. Now fetch MySQL data into an object array. Here we are adding each object as row in J table so table will not crash. I called listing method from operations class and I provided our J table where we want to fetch data. Now let's add action to save person button. Here we need to get data from text fields, store them on strings and provide that data into our insert method from operations.
I recall listing method here because if new data inserted, it can be shown on table. So guys that's all for today hope we'll meet in next video until you guys should like my videos subscribe my channel and if you want to be notified for my latest videos please don't forget to hit on bell icon thanks for watching Go!